Hey, what's up, y'all? Today I'll be showing you how to optimize your hidden bio settings. Um, these settings um, increase FPS, they lower your latency, and they're not accessible through your main BIOS configuration or interface. So this program that we'll be using or script that we'll be using um, allows us to access that and change those settings. So you're gonna go down to my description, you're gonna download SKUIN, and you're gonna unzip it. If you don't have 7-zip or WinRAR, download both of those or either of those. Uh, once you download that, you're gonna extract it to your desktop, open up SKUIN, right click on export, run as administrator, and then this file right here will pop up. This is all the settings that are in your BIOS, the settings that you can see in your interface, in your interface, and the settings that you cannot see. So your hidden settings. Um, once you do that, you're gonna go to my description and you're gonna open up either the Ryzen list or the Intel list. Um, if you have Intel CPU, use Intel, Ryzen, then use Ryzen. I have Ryzen, so I'm using Ryzen. Um, on the list, my first setting is called Adaptive S4. So I'm gonna type in Adaptive S4 and you can go ahead and copy and paste it if you want to. Um, but yeah, once you do that, you're gonna click enter or find next and that setting will pop up. Once you find the setting, I want you to look under here where it says enabled or disabled. And if it says enabled, so which it most likely will, this is how it will look in your, in your text file. It'll look like this. It looks like that. I want you to, to um, delete the star and put a star next to disabled. That disables the setting. And you're gonna do this for all of these settings that you see up here, except for stuff to try and test. And these two, um, these require you to looking in your PC and finding these out. Um, a lot of you don't really know how to do that stuff. And I don't really feel like, feel like making a long video. Um, yeah, so just don't do that. Don't do that. And don't do this. Everything else you can do um, safely and you will have no issues with your PC. So yeah, once you're done applying all those settings, you're gonna go ahead and press file, press save. Um, oh, actually one last thing. A lot of people have issues with finding these three settings. So MSI option, SATA port mode, and I2C D3. Um, I'm gonna show you how to find those real quick. So when you're typing in XXX MSI option, don't type in the XXX. The X's stand for the variables, the variables that are in the um, settings. So you have multiple settings with the MSI option. So you're just gonna type in MSI and option, press enter, and boom, MSI option. See how you have one, two, um, three, four. You have multiple SM MSI options. That's what the XXX stands for. For SATA port X mode, you're gonna type in SATA port one mode. Cannot find. This is another issue people have. So if that happens, you will go here, click up. Actually, click OK, then click up. Press find next. Boom. Set a port. Set a port two. Set a port three. Set a port four. You have multiple variable variable set of ports. That's what the X stands for. And for I2C, URT, etc., you have the D3 support. Just type in D3 support. Cannot find, so we're gonna click down. Find next, boom, I2C, D3, I2C1, D3, etc., etc. And yeah, that's how you find all those settings. Um, some people also have the issue of some of these settings require you to type in a zero. It's only a few of them, like one or two on this list. Instead of typing in a star for enabled disabled some of these some of these settings just say enabled zero disabled or no enabled one disabled zero um on the enabled section you're gonna actually let me find it all right so i couldn't find that actual setting um it's not hard like if you have brain cells you should know what i'm talking about like if you have no brain cells like just don't even do this whole guide in the first place like <laughs> for real um also make sure like you don't be accidentally typing stuff in here and then press save like it'll fuck up your bios like make sure like you're paying attention to what you're doing like put all your attention into what you're doing like don't lose concentration it only takes like 15 to 20 minutes to do all this it's really easy really simple um me personally i think optimizing your bios has a larger effect on fps and latency than optimizing your windows like you'll feel like way bigger difference when you optimize your bios um but yeah after you change all the settings that you that you need or want to Press save on the text file that you can close out of it. Then open, you're gonna open up the import file and right click on it, press edit. Go to the end of the text, press enter. Type in lowercase pause. Press file, press save. 
close out of this and you're gonna right click and run it as administrator what that does is that imports the BIOS configuration that you have um, edited like so it makes this text file applied to your actual BIOS for me it says system configuration not modified because I have not changed no settings in my BIOS I've already done this whole tweak I've already like done it so nothing changed um, yours will say the opposite it will say system configuration has been modified or something like that once it says that you're gonna press enter um, close out of this and you can restart your PC all right once y'all load back into your windows open up whatever game you play see how you feel um, and yeah I recommend Fortnite Fortnite is really easy to tell the difference in latency because you're building the editing and stuff I also recommend turning off legacy USB and XHCI handoff in your USB settings I know in Ryzen that's what it's called. Um, I also recommend turning off hyperthreading um, and SMT. It's the same thing, but Intel is called hyperthreading, and Ryzen is called um, SMT. What that does is it gives you um, extra threads. So I have six cores. If I had to turn it on, it would be six cores, twelve logical processors. It does boost FPS, but it causes a major hit to latency. So I recommend turning it off. Um, I also recommend turning off idle for your power plan. Um, I will leave a custom power plan down in the description below. Um, I can make a, um, a video explaining how to get a custom power plan if you don't know how to do that already. Um, a simple Google search will show you how to. Um, but yeah, cat power plan that's what I'm using. I know disabled. Um, having that paired with SMT off makes your latency incredible. It does cost you about a good 30 to 50 FPS, but I mean, for me, I don't really care. Um, and yeah, if you guys benefit from, from this video, which I'm pretty sure you all did. Leave a comment, subscribe, like, turn notifications on because I'm posting some more videos soon. And yeah, I hope you all have a good day. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.